What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and today we have some really exciting news as Disney has announced their date for Disney Plus Day. And if you're familiar at all with Disney Plus Day, we usually get a lot of big reveals. So, Phase 5 is about to be revealed. We're going to talk about what we already know and what we expect to be released. Except this year, we're actually in for a little bit more than normal because Disney Plus Day is taking place one day right before D23. So September is actually going to bring us a ton of new Marvel, Star Wars, everything else that comes with Disney Plus, a ton of new reveals here, which is really exciting because I know a lot of people are really, really wondering what exactly the future of the MCU holds. And I will say the MCU does look bright. I think it's about to get a lot brighter. Star Wars actually looks extremely bright and I will be doing a watch party for Obi-Wan tonight. That'll start at 11.30 Pacific. Pacific time. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news and so you can help us get to 1 million subscribers. Now, typically between Disney Plus Day and D23, we always get a ton of information and a lot of new reveals. Disney always takes this opportunity at these two events to tease us with what's to come in the future. In fact, between these two events over the past couple of years since San Diego Comic-Con didn't happen, this is where Disney and Marvel did all of their biggest reveals. This is where they talked about the Fantastic Four being in development. This is where they revealed all the shows like Armor Wars, Iron Heart, Secret Invasion, released teaser trailers for the first time that we never saw before. So be rest assured that these are big events that you don't want to miss out on. And of course, if you're subscribed to the channel, I'll be doing updates on these, so no worries. Now, right away, here's what is really exciting for Marvel fans. We have a few Marvel release dates that are set. They are lined up. Disney is planning on releasing movies during these dates, but they don't have set movies yet, meaning they have publicly released the release dates, but they don't have a movie attached to the release dates. So we don't know what's being released, but hopefully at D23 or Disney Plus Day, they're going to tell us what movies are coming out on these dates. With the biggest hope right now, it's my personal hope and a lot of the fans' personal hope that we actually get a release date for Fantastic Four and maybe even a smidgen of info about the cast. Now, in regards to the Fantastic Four, recent reports have told us that John Watts is no longer the director, so maybe they'll give us a director announcement. Also, spoiler alert, if you have not seen Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, maybe they'll actually confirm that John Krasinski is going to be playing the main MCU Reed Richards slash Mr. Fantastic in the upcoming movie. And if they did announce that he is indeed going to be playing that role as well, hopefully they would announce that his wife would be playing Sue Storm slash the Invisible Woman if she is indeed going to be playing that role. Remember, this is where the big announcements happen. They actually revealed that Jonathan Majors was going to be playing Kang and that Kang was coming to to the MCU during these events. So this is where this stuff takes place. These are huge events. Now, keep in mind though, Disney Plus Day is not going to announce anything about movies. Why? Well, because it's in the title. It's Disney Plus Day. Disney Plus is not movies, it's shows. Now, as far as Marvel shows coming to Disney Plus, here's what we have. We have Miss Marvel, which is about to come out. We have She-Hulk Attorney at Law that is coming out on August 17th. We have an untitled Halloween special which is widely believed to be Werewolf by Night, coming out obviously October since it's for Halloween, and that is October of this year, 2022. Then we have the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, which is believed to be coming out in December. Then we have the new X-Men animated series, X-Men 97, which I am very, very excited for. We also have Secret Invasion coming, which does not have a release date yet, so I'm assuming the possibilities for us getting a release date for Secret Invasion on Disney Plus Day is pretty high. Then we have other Disney Plus shows that have yet to get release dates, and those are I Am Groot, Armor Wars, Ironheart, Echo, then of course there are Wakanda series coming to Disney Plus. We don't have release dates for those yet either. Loki Season 2, which is about to start filming. We have What If Season 2, which is apparently supposed to come this year in 2022. We have the Agatha Harkness show that has been announced that is titled Agatha House of Harkness. Then we have the Spider-Man Freshman Year show. We have Marvel Zombies. And the big one, which hopefully we get an official announcement from Disney themselves, is the Daredevil series coming to Disney+. Plus. Now this one I do hope we get a little bit of information on because I know a lot of 
people are really worried about the Daredevil series being on Disney+. Plus. Since the Daredevil show on Netflix was pretty brutal, fans are concerned and worried, and rightfully so, that it's going to be toned down a lot because this show is going to be on Disney+. Plus. However, Moon Knight kind of pushed it. It wasn't exactly up there with Daredevil from Netflix, but it kind of pushed it for a Disney Plus show, so hopefully if it's at least at that tone, it won't be too bad. But I'm hoping and fingers crossed that we do get a little bit of information about this show. Now that's all that can happen on Disney Plus Day, getting information about those Disney Plus shows, because again, Disney Plus Day, it's all about Disney Plus, but D23 could bring some major reveals for movies. And here's all the movies that we have coming up. Obviously, Thor Love and Thunder is coming out July 8th. That's the next movie that is coming in the MCU. Then we have Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which is currently scheduled for November 11th of 2022. Then we have Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, February 17th of 2023. I'm really excited to learn a little bit more about this one because Kang the Conqueror is going to be introduced in this film. Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is scheduled for May 5th. 2023, followed by The Marvels coming July 28th of 2023. Now here's where this event could get very interesting with all of these announced films that don't have release dates yet. Here's what we have coming up that hopefully we get a little bit more information about. Now just to address Spider-Man for a second, we typically don't get any Spider-Man news from Disney directly. It typically comes from Sony, so I wouldn't expect too much about the new Spider-Man movies. But we do have Blade coming up along with Deadpool 3, the Fantastic Four movie, which again, hopefully we get some information about that and the cast, Captain America 4, which is confirmed to be happening, but we don't really know anything about it yet. Then there's Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings 2, which that has been announced, but little to no information is known about it. And then of course, the big ones. Hopefully we get an announcement for the X-Men, especially, and again, spoiler alert for Doctor Strange 2, since they showed us Professor Xavier in Multiverse of Madness. Now last year, they announced the Fantastic Four film and all they really told us was that John Watts was going to be the director and that it was in development. So I'll take pretty much anything if it's related to the X-Men. I just simply want Kevin Feige to say, hey, it's in development. Because the last time we heard anything about the X-Men slash mutants was at San Diego Comic-Con of 2019, where he said we didn't even have time to talk about the Fantastic Four and the mutants. Now, since he said those two together and the Fantastic Four is coming relatively soon, hopefully that means X-Men isn't too far behind. And of course, if we're really hoping for something, I don't think we'll get much information about it, but I would love to hear anything about a new Avengers film. Little to no information is really known about the new Avengers team, we actually know more about the Young Avengers than we do the New Avengers, so I'm hoping for just anything about a New Avengers team. And that's what's in store for these two big events coming up. It's very exciting because we haven't had any major reveals coming straight from Disney in a pretty long time, so mark the calendar for these events. September 8th for Disney Plus Day and September 9th starts D23. And of course, I will be covering both events extensively, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. Don't forget to give the video a like, and of course, for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.